So I'd like to ask a simple question. It may seem like an unrelated question, but has anybody not purchased from a particular business because of the way that their initial inquiry was handled? Yeah. yeah. So a comment that a lot of people make, often make to us, is it's only a reception role. I don't, it does, it's not really worth recruiting for. That's something that um, we hear all the time. So we wanted to challenge that thinking because in our experience, anyone who is in a position to win or lose your clients can make a dramatic difference to your sales and profit. So let's test the statistics and see what the cost of a hire of a real local business. So the stats say that the cost of replacing and retraining an employee are anywhere from two to seven times their annual salary. A lot of these stats are on the surface unbelievable. So we looked for an opportunity to work through an actual hiring example with a local business. And we would like to thank Jai from Garden City Tire Plus for giving up his time into our office recently to work through the numbers of his last recruitment campaign. So we started working through what we call the actual cost he incurred about 12 months ago. So the actual costs were um, cost of advertising for a full campaign. 18, in, in this instance, it was $1,800. So that's the money that Jai paid out to do an actual advertising campaign. So clearly he wanted to go through a full advertising campaign to, to branch out to as many candidates as possible, which is an excellent idea. We also factored in his, his time, the time that it took him to do um, the recruitment process, and that includes writing the ad, um, interviewing, he said he interviewed eight candidates in this instance at an hour each, that was a whole day that he used. So the fact that his, he, basis is hourly rate of $100 an hour, that was $1,500 of his time used in preparation for this recruitment process. The opportunity cost for his time, as in the loss of income, he, um, he could have been doing other things, he could have been selling, $9,000. And the opportunity cost of a vacant position, this, in this instance, was covered by existing teams. And training, licensing, and getting up to speed that is um, all, obviously all the training that's required to get a new staff member on board. In this instance, he needed licensing. That was $4,000 over that 12 months. So total costs that it cost Jai to do the, the la this is the very last recruitment process that he went through, it's actual figures, $16,300. It's a lot of money. And that is, obviously, if he gets it right. But what happens when a bad hire starts to lose your customers? So here is some research that we have found relating to the consequence of customer complaint. So you'll see in the um, customer complaint iceberg, you've got one unhappy customer. They're the one that's going to complain to the management. But for every one customer that makes a complaint, Generally speaking, stats say that there's another 25 customers, 25 people that aren't happy with the process, that you're, the, the customer service that you're doing. So out of those 26 people, they're all going to tell 10 people, 260 people. Out of those 260 people, they're all going to tell five. Remember these are actual stats that have been done by somebody that's felt that they needed to do that. 1,560 people now have heard bad things about your company, now do not, are not interested in your company. So the other real cost, let's look at Jai's figures as being reasonable, reasonably representative and start adding the cost of just one lost customer base on the previous multiplier effect. So with only one unhappy customer that you are aware of, average sale of $1,500 per sale, remember this actual cost, 
It's going to cost your company for one year two million three hundred and forty thousand dollars. But let's be conservative because that sounds like it's just a bit unreal, even though we know that it's it's um, true. And say for every one person that is not happy, they tell another ten, and then they tell ten. That's a hundred and ten people. That brings the figure down to only $165,000 that your business has lost because you have had one bad customer experience. So potential loss of customers and rehire and train, 16,300, that is the recruitment cost that we've just gone through. So the total cost lost for your business to have one person in your company that's not doing a good job it's $181,300. And we just need to keep reminding you that these are actual figures. These aren't figures that we've plucked out of the air. So now, if on the other hand, we hire the right person the first time, and let's assume that not only they don't lose customers, but they also convert one extra customer per week, let's look at what happens. And realistically, for a good, good customer service person, one customer a week, is very, very um, achievable. So based on our fee, 15% of, of the first year's salary, in this case, Jai said that this person would have been paid $50,000, our fee would have been $7,500. Your time, so Jai's time, we, we worked that it would be approximately 20% 20, 20 of the self-time because we still need to speak to him to get a good review of the job, make sure that we, are, we know exactly what we're looking for. It's $300. Opportunity cost of your time, 20% of, of what we spoke about initially, so 20% of Jai's time. If he wasn't doing that, it would have cost him $1,800. Opportunity cost at a vacant position, that's been covered by the staff that are there. Training and um, licensing, getting up to speed, that's the same as what it was previously, so $4,000. So all up, with our fees being 7500 total cost to you as a business to recruit outside and get somebody to do it right the first time, it's $13,600. So the benefits of hiring right the first time you do have increased morale and business momentum. Now, Jai has told us that the increased productivity and business momentum is really invaluable at this time. But let's say that this new person, because they're the right fit for their job, will convert one new customer inquiry every week for 12 weeks. $78,000, remembering that one new customer spending an, on average of $1,500 a week for 52 weeks. So year one net outcome is 64,400. So potentially hiring the right person in the position is going to bring in business to you of 64,400. You've paid out 13,600 in, in actual costs. You're going to get that paid back in nine weeks time. So in summary, an internal hiring cost will cost you $16,000. Outsourcing hiring costs is going to cost you $13,600. A saving of around about $2,700 for outsourcing. I, thought, I was blown away when we did this. It was like, it's no way. I even questioned Jai on those prices, those, those, those costs that he... I said, there's no way it cost you $1,800. He said, yes, it did. It's, it, I questioned it. It blew me away. So you can see from that last site that um, a bad hire could cost your company 181300 but a good hire you will bring into your business 64400 Something to think about.